Whenever, you, yeah. whenever you're ready. Okay, so um, I don't know if, it, if we talked last year or not. Uh-uh, no. Uh, okay, so we, last year at this show, we came out with our full ERP accounting job costing project management okay. package. It's all web-based. So uh, it, it runs in you know the four browsers, Chrome, Firefox, IE, or Safari. Uh -huh. So you can use it on Apple. Okay. Um, and that was a big move for us and our customers. So it's completely redone in a uh, web-based uh, uh, you know, technology. Okay. In addition to that, last year we announced a, uh, a venture product, which is a, like a plan room. Mm -hmm. It's like an imitation of bid and all that. Okay. For, for your plans and your specs out there. Yeah. And what, what happened was we started selling that to our existing customers and they're saying, hey, we want this integrated. Okay. We want one system that integrates all the plan specs, RFIs, all that that's out in the plan room integrated into our Spectrum ERP package. Okay. And that's what we're announcing here at the show. That's the new release. So we're calling it it's the new Spectrum project management. And that's why I can kind of show you a little bit about how that works. Okay. But, um, the, the nice thing is it's all integrated back. So if I'm looking at, for example, this project log, and here's a job here that has 25 open log items. Okay. Uh, it has one overdue one. If I just hit that one, it would just show me the one overdue. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go ahead and just click on it. Now these these are called apps. Mm -hmm. So we have you know hundreds of apps that we've developed that show you anything from cash flow, uh, you know, change requests, proposals that are overdue, okay. submittal status, whatever it is to show here on your dashboard, and that's by user. Okay. Um, but they're interactive, so if they say, well, I want to see a little more about this um, North Shore office building this, the, on the project log, I click on it, and what it does, it, it loads it right into, I'm right into the Spectrum system, and loads us right into the, in the category of the project log. Mm -hmm. Now, this project log is the key to the project management system, because from here, um, I had expand here, I can expand it out, they were grouped together, it's one big grid, and these are all user-defined categories. Okay. So, you know, daily log, a drawing log, uh, meeting minutes, RFIs, they're all um, user-defined categories. Sure. So people can have safety notices, whatever it is. You can set it up, you tell it what fields you're going to track, and, uh, and that's all tracked all the way through the product. To give you an idea what, what benefit you get by linking this with the, what we call the plan room, if I click on, for example, a daily log, I double click on it, what it does is it actually launches me right into the plan room. So the plan room is actually running on a hosted environment for collaboration. Okay. So, for example, the person that created this daily log, it, they created it saved it and it saves it as a document mm -hmm. that document you could have an automatically set up so when you save that it gives a notification out to people mm -hmm. that hey that document's been loaded do you want to go out and approve it and view it or whatever you want to do with okay. it and and just to show you how that works a little bit if i just come down to available actions it's send notification it comes up and uh oh, this one's defaulting to a pre-call notification we have all these user-defined no notifications uh -huh. you can do You'd have a daily log notification sure. built into it. You come in here and just say, "Oh, you know, please review or something," uh, and then I say "Add," and I come out to my my project, Dexter Cheney project that has my project team on it, mm -hmm. and I could hit the button here and just hit click, and it would just send out a notification to all those people. Okay, um, I'll just send it to myself. Um, but all I do is come in here, and here I am, John Cheney. I say add, uh, I say send, and boom, I've just sent it out notifying myself that mm -hmm. this was loaded. Now, the, the nice thing is I can show you my iPhone so I can get the email, but I can literally get that notification, log in, and it would, it would point me right back to that document, cool. which, of which then I could, I could call it up uh, on any device, and I could edit the document, and make changes to it before I approve it, change mm -hmm. the status, uh, you know, change the temperature or whatever. Um, 
whatever I wanted, to, you know, who the visitors were, whatever I wanted. To. So I come down here and say, yeah, you know, go ahead and update that or whatever. And the system is tracking everything I do. So it tracks who accessed it, um, you know, who created the document. You can have discussions going on, like kind of sure. an IM kind uh -huh. of process. Um, so this is the so this is the collaboration piece, um, and by doing that, making it a document, now we can track all this information on it. So we can come down and say, well, under communications, here, here's the one I just just sent right now. At, uh, was that Eastern time? <laughs> Sorry, I think that is <laughs> probably. <laughs> But um, uh, I can view it and say, okay, look, I sent this to John Cheney. I haven't viewed it yet. Now, if I viewed that on my phone, it would say I viewed it. So then you know, as an administrator, uh -huh. you know, now all of a sudden you have you have total control of all these documents, RFIs, safety, you know, whatever it is. You know that you sent it. What mm -hmm. the status of it is. You can kind of look at the plan holders. If somebody says, you know, I never got that change request to approve. You come in here and say, really? Is that true? And look, let's look at John Cheney. Say you never got it. I can look in here, oh, here's what John Cheney, he's viewed all these things. Well, maybe that, oh, that RFI, you said you didn't see it. I see where you actually reviewed that. Right. So it kind of, it's an audit. Sure. You know. Um, so it's, when you send it, uh, when you add somebody to send it to, it sends it to their account within the system, not like an email address. No, it does an email address. Oh, that okay. contacts. Oh, okay. When I selected that, that uh, you know, the, the project team, I said yeah. John Cheney. It send, yeah, that sent it to my email. Okay. It's actually, it's, it's, it's even more powerful than that because you know, a lot of firms, even today, uh, we were talking to the Blue Book people, uh -huh. and they said there's uh, at least 50% of these firms don't even have email. You know, really? They still use fax. <laughs> so That's amazing. Yeah. If you don't have email, it'll send a fax. Really? Same notification. <laughs> uh, and say, hey, this day log is there, please go out and review it, you know? That's interesting. Yeah. So it does email or fax, both. Um, <laughs> but yeah, fax is the normal one. <laughs> um, does it do Pony Express? Yeah, well? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's kind of amazing. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's kind of a, the, the communication part. And then the other piece of this is that this whole plan center, right, I'm, right now I'm kind of in this plan center. So the way the web is now, it's hard to tell where the data is, it doesn't really, you know, you as a user using this, mm -hmm. like I know where the stuff's stored. This, the plant center is actually stored on an Amazon hosted site. Okay. The Spectrum, the project management piece is stored at a whole different location. Oh, really? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. So you could have the server in your office for your Spectrum accounting data, uh -huh. but the plan room could be out at a hosted site. So maybe you don't, for collaboration, you, you kind of want to have a pretty big, robust, uh, site sure. um, but from a user end, what we're trying to do here is you can just, you know, go through the application, and you don't know. I mean, it doesn't. You don't have to tell it go and log in somewhere else or anything. You're just right. you're in Spectrum doing it. Okay. So we've integra completely integrated it, um, and so I kind of went through these. So these daily logs here and issues and meeting minutes, these correspond exactly to. Um, the ones that I have here in my project management system, which is in the Spectrum project management. So what you know is, when you look at a meeting minute or a daily log or a drawing log, that is all linked directly to the plan room. Mm -hmm. So you know somebody changed something, updated it, made a markup on something, it automatically updates it here. Okay. So, and then from here, is the, the big key is people want to say, look, okay, well, I want to be able to take this RFI and I want to drag it up and attach it to change request 106. Okay, RFI 1 is dropped in change request 106. Is it okay to link them? Okay. And now I call up, a, a, look, call up this change proposal. So you're, you have all those drawing documents and everything that substantiates a proposal for a cost. And now I'm in here and I can actually do a takeoff and do a change proposal mm -hmm. for my contract, but it says here, you know, RFI right here, uh, here it is, I can go in and I could view that and go drill right back into the actual document. And I could list as many different documents to support this cost um, 
that I need to do. Okay. Just by dragging and dropping on that project management uh, piece. Uh -huh. So that's kind of the big announcement is that by linking the this plan center to the project log, uh, it's keeping all your information up to date, and you have the power of that plan log to, you know, to, to go out and collaborate and, s and invite people in to see those documents. Sure. And as far as we can tell, it's, it's, it's very unique. I mean, people usually, these days, what they do is they have their accounting system. They might be doing some project management in there, meaning tracking these logs. Mm -hmm. But the problem is they have to manually type in all the information. Right. When was the due date? Who's got it? Manually track it here, because then they do the cost proposal in the project management mm -hmm. system. And then the plan center stuff is usually a third party, you know, and there's a right. whole bunch of them out there. Um, that do that. So what we're trying to do is be end-to-end. -end. We can sure. be all the way from the plan center, from when your initial saying it was invitation to bids, all the way through to uh, live project, mm -hmm. project management, accounting, see if you're making any money on it. So <laughs> we're kind of an end-to-end -end solution. Right. And I've had people at the show ask me, well, you know, that's fine, but we, you know, accounting's fine, we just, but will you sell us the plan room or the plan room and the project management together? And the answer is yes. We can sell just the plan room by itself. Uh -huh. We can sell the plan room with project management, which would include everything I've showed you, mm -hmm. but without the back end accounting. We could we could sell that. Okay. Or we could sell the full end to end. Sure. So I think that's kind of our unique message uh, that we're getting across. That's pretty and, cool. Yeah. It is. It is. And it really was kind of driven by the customers because yeah. we kind of sold the plan room separate for a year. Yeah. Uh -huh. and that was their number one thing they kept asking us. We want it tied in here. They didn't want to have to do double entry. Sure. Um, they sense. want to make sure that they knew everything that's here was updated. And they didn't want to have to train a project manager to log in here to do change request proposals and log into a plan room to see the drawing. Uh -huh. And now you can just click, click, and you're in it. Yeah. And uh, because it's web, you can really, you know, you can just, they can get an iPad, they can get whatever they want to get. See the information. Yeah. Well, the other thing I just wanted to mention is this blue book. When uh -huh. I was in the when I was in the plan room here, uh, here, uh -huh. if you if you do like an invitation to bid, or I just did that notification. Mm -hmm. um, here's a whole uh, list of uh, of companies. When I say, um, oh, I want to add uh, add somebody, I have these address books. Well, and I kind of mentioned, here's my Dexter and Cheney one, and just these these people. Well, we, we've done, is when you're doing an invitation to bid, one of the biggest business problems for contractors, as you know, is that, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bid in Las Vegas. Maybe I'm, ba I'm, I'm based in Seattle. I don't know any subs down here. Where do I get the information? Uh -huh. Well, Blue Book is like the number one place. They have a million contractors in their subdirectory. <laughs> So we just, it's kind of a pre-release, we haven't officially announced this, yes. but, but we, um, we've already integrated to their BB Gateway, which cool. is their new release, and we'll be doing a press release here in a, probably a few weeks mm -hmm. to announce that. But we're very excited about it because what it does is it connects the Blue Book, their million contractors, and it'll just show up as a contact data, you know, an address book here. You can go, oh, go to Blue, Blue Book, do their searches there, <coughs> and, um, Anyway, we're really impressed with what they do with their <coughs> with their database. Um, so if you're in Vegas, you say, hey, give me the plumber in Vegas, boom. There's a blue one, you have all these ratings in there. Very powerful. And that's something, we didn't have a contact database. We relied on the, you know, our customers have their own, which is fine. They can right. import data, have their own database, but then they can have Blue Book also. So if they're, they want to find some extra people, they'll have that power to do that. So that's another <laughs> new thing. We've done too. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be when? Are you going to make that announcement with Blue Book in about a Yeah. Week, it'll probably be. Weeks? It'll probably be a few weeks, three, three or four weeks. Well, they're an advertiser of ours too. Are they? Yes. Oh. So you think we'll be about doing there? something? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, joint press release would yeah. be great. Yeah. 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 Really would. Yeah. And we're excited about working with them. It's a good fit. Oh, yeah. And actually, the way they. The way they price theirs, it's really kind of interesting just from a pricing end. Yeah. Because, you know, we sell to the general contractor or the subcontractor to do their full, everything I've said, right? Well, that plan room, when we do invitations, 
we allow the subs to the invite, they get to go in and look at the drawings and all that for free in our project. So there's no charge. Well, Blue Book, their model is completely the opposite. Because they get the subs, because they're, you know, they're, they want the subs to advertise, to pay money right. to be in the Blue Book, which right. gives them the exposure to the general contractors. And they have their whole bidding piece, which we're tying into. Well, their bidding piece is free to the general contractor. <laughs> it's just the opposite of work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we have kind of a nice fit yeah. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there. What they do, you do opposite, and yeah. so you kind of... Uh, yeah, so it's really a nice... Kind yeah, of like a marriage. It is. Yeah. No, we're very excited about it. We had them over here this, before the show opened. We had a little uh, Mark Goldman over there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a nice uh, education uh, training our salespeople, and we'll be training Early. their salespeople on our product. Yeah. We really, you guys going to go up to New York to see them? Or? I, I'll probably be going up there with a couple people. They have a beautiful people. building. Do they? Oh, yes, I haven't been up there. Beautiful, I have. It's yeah. a beautiful country up there. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. 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 So we'll be doing that. So, anyway, another. That'd be exciting. We're excited about that. Yeah. That would be really exciting. Yeah. yeah. What kind of, what have, what have you uh, noticed at the show? Anything? Uh, I don't know if there's too much software things going on, but other than that. Oh, it just. A lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I haven't digested it all. I've taken notes on everything, and, yeah. I, and I, none of it. I haven't retained anything whatsoever. It's all. <laughs> it's all in my notes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. The software and the equipment and otherwise. And do you cover all the equipment too? So I mean, you have to like some yeah. concrete crusher. You get you ask about it. Kind of yeah. just all fits in together. Yeah, it all fits in. You know where. We're a business magazine, of course, so yes. we don't focus so much on equipment. That kind of right. stuff. It all kind of ties into how these things can help you run your business more yeah. efficiently yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of everything that we look at, but we don't have to be completely comprehensive and look at everything in every category. Yeah, because it's more running the business. Yeah. The business owner. Turn on investment. Your target. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How to be back the next day. And, yeah. You know, and talking to some of my other software companies here, they don't have things with the show. Oh, really? And I'm like, why not? No. The guy across from the inside, he said he probably won't come back. Computerings, you know who they are. Yeah, yeah. They, they won't come back. And really? I'm like, why? I said, you drop out, it's kind of like people start talking about you. You know, that you're not out there to show anymore, but now yeah. this is their second year that they have opted out of doing the show. Really? Yeah. Oh. And then I noticed MC Square got bought out. Yeah, who bought this? Um, whoever the name of that company is in front of them, I can't see the. Oh, oh I've been around yet. Yeah, you know, and Billy Ted 